What is up guys, David here from Three Point Slow Gang and on this episode we have a special guest. We're gonna check that out, stay tuned. What's up, Kerry? What's up, man? So, uh, tell us about your. This is an FZJ seven, uh, 75? Yeah. Is that correct? FZJ 75 Land Cruiser Troop Carrier. What, what year is that? It's 1994. 94. So, I don't know too much about these 70 series of, you know, it goes, I know it goes all the way up to 79. It's To me, it's very confusing, so I'm going to have to ask you some questions on that. Yeah. So, 1994. Uh, FZJ 75, meaning that it's got the one FZ. One FZ 4.5 liter gas. It's a petrol engine. Okay. Um, those are predominantly found in southern Europe. Okay. Um, Australia and Japan. They they run the diesels, and they're also going to be right hand drive. Uh, this one's a pretty good find. I mean, you can see the way it looks, and it's left hand drive, so it makes it easier to drive in the states. Obviously, it's not like anybody's driving head on at you when you're going down traffic. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's been resprayed. Uh, by the previous owner. Okay. Uh, it wasn't by the guy who imported it. The guy who imported it said it actually was a NATO truck. Okay. Um, in Turkey, and then they brought it to Southern Europe, so it's always been in a dry climate, so you can see it underneath. It's pretty solid across the border. It's not a lot of rust. They already had sprayed it with some kind of rubber liner coating, but I didn't do that. That's okay. Wait, okay. So I guess let's start with why why uh, why this vehicle? Because you kept beating me to 80 series. <laughs> Land Cruisers locally, that's why. Um, <laughs> no, honestly, I had been... I had a 95 Jeep when I served in the military, um, so did that when I moved back down to Texas, and I had been looking for something that I could go camping in, take my kids with. I mean, my wife likes to glam glamp, and we want to get the mm -hmm. RV and do that whole deal, but I wanted something that we could really get off the grid with, you know? Sure. Um, it's, it's, for me, I don't have a lot of projects, I'm not a big gearhead guy, but this is like the one thing I've always kept looking at, you know? I, I used to hike a lot, things like that. This thing can really get you where you want to go. So yeah. That's kind of why I looked for specifically an 80 or 70 series. Well, actually, I was looking at a 60 series in Brownsville also. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it at 10 when it's out there. So, so tell me uh, a little bit of history on on yours. So, so you said it came from probably Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the importer, actually, the guy imports Land Rovers. He took a risk in getting this one, and he had it sitting. So COVID hit. Uh -huh. And it was sitting in Tennessee with his brother, who also is like a lawyer in Tennessee, because the guy's from California, actually. And they shut down the ports of California. They weren't able to get it to California, so he ended up sending it to, I think he said Mobile, Alabama. Okay. And his brother picked it up, and he had it sitting in Tennessee, and they couldn't sell it. Nobody wanted it there. Wow. Except one other guy who was like a country music artist who was going to look at it the same, the same week that... I was gonna to try to head out there and look at it, and I said, "Man, I'm not gonna be able to make it. COVID and all that stuff." Yeah. And I ended up just buying a bullet sight, sight unseen, outside of pictures and videos. Yeah. And I got lucky. Nice. At least. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was really worried about sending the guy to cash, to be honest. So, <laughs> so do you do you have uh, do you have like any documentation like of its of its past life or anything? Did you, uh, like just a, the import list, just so it's like you know it's serial number and stuff like that. I'm going by his word or where yeah. he bought it from. You know. Sure. Um, he doesn't have anything that says, like, this was NATO truck. He says that's where he buys his vehicles from. From my experience in the military and what I did with the government civilian-wise, it most likely is a NATO truck. So okay. I'm, not, I'm pretty positive that's what that, it was used for. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, what, what's the diesel uh, variant called? Uh, it's the same thing. So it's, it's going to be the same thing, a Land Cruiser Troop Carrier. Uh, they actually come with different engines. The latest series, 79 series, comes with an eight-cylinder diesel. Sure. Uh, super powerful. They actually, like some guys out in Portland, Oregon, called Fit Garage, they do the swaps there. Yeah. Um, you can do the Cummins 2.8 or whatever if you want to do repower. Yeah. Um, there's not much of a difference. It's just different different parts of the world. You get different engines, you know? Yeah. There is a 3VT version with no turbo. Then there's a turbo version, uh, turbo diesel. And then there's the petrol version, which is this guy. Yeah. Um, it just depends what area you're in. I, I so, couldn't tell you the details uh, of why. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So are these more harder to find than the diesel ones? Because I, I'm, I'm, I don't think, I mean, I don't know too many about them, but I always hear about the diesel ones, but I, I never... I say they're less popular. That's what really? it is. Okay, um, okay. Less is... popular because in South Africa and Australia and in Japan, they primarily use diesel in those countries. You know, gotcha. you get these things out, especially NATO, they yeah. get them out of these countries in Africa and things like that. Diesel is what's out there, or JP-8 for the military uses, you know. Yeah. A lot of, like, NATO uses JP-8. In the states, we primarily use gas. Yeah. So, for me, it ended up being an advantage. It's like, okay, we got gas, but you know, maybe in the future, might do a repower swap. You know, we'll okay. see. Uh, I know a guy that's going to drop an LS1 in his actually. So, wow. I'm kind of curious how it's going to. So, 4.5, meaning the 1FZ, same as the 80, correct? Yeah. 
Yeah, same as that. Well, depending on what eighty series you have. Well, yeah, the the FZJ obviously, yeah, because yeah, the the FJ eighty had the the previous what is it three FE? Yeah, yeah, three FE four point oh. I can look up the engine if you want. Yeah, yeah, if it's you can. Dirty, Let's do it. Yeah, way clearer than mine for yeah. sure. And it's missing an AC right here. It's supposed to go right here. Mm. So, so do you think you could just put like if you get it out of an eighty, you can do it? No, I actually talked to the guys at Land Cruiser Specialists in Austin. Uh -huh. uh, I reached out to them, and they're like, you can't do that. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, they actually said. Uh, just the the piping and the hosing and all that stuff. It's it's and different condensers. It's okay. a completely different system. Most of the stuff you have to order from Japan. Um, I'm actually going to talk to them tomorrow about mm -hmm. the whole situation, and he's going to give me a rundown of like how serious am I about doing the install. Yeah. At that point, got to start ordering parts, and I'm going to try to order it so I don't break the bank in phases. You know, yeah. Like you know, get a condenser and get this, get that, and eventually we'll send it up there for the install. How many miles? Um, it's 89,000 miles. It's actually 140 oh, kilometers, yeah. so like 89,000 oh, miles. Wow. It's for a 300,000 mile engine, it's solid, so. Wow. Yeah. Brand new, basically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, well, they don't use a lot. When they use like NATO and military, those guys don't do anything. So. <laughs> so. What do you think, Jake? Does it look like the 80? I think it's, oh, it's carbureted. Yeah. That's yeah. insane. That's actually another That's interesting thing. That's cool. Make it a little easier to work on. Yeah. Um, well, they, they do have models that are fuel injected. And obviously, you know, the 1FC, I think it's E, right? Because the 1FC F okay. is the carburetor version. So the 1FC mm. E, yeah. you can, I can literally just take off the manifold, drop it in. And then when you oh, have the, the computer, computer. Yeah. yeah. And then it, it'll be, but the guy's telling me like, hey man. No, that's cool though. Yeah, it's better off running like that, break down and stuff like that. I'm actually going to try to get a spare carburetor and just keep it on me. Just in case I wonder need. if, because um, it looks like this, like similar to the 40, Carb, but obviously it probably has some other modern updates to it or something. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. So That's from from following you on Instagram, uh, we've all noticed that you've been rigging a lot on the suspension. Yeah. yeah. So you could talk a little bit about that. See exactly what it is you did to. Yeah, yeah. So again, I'm gonna reiterate. I'm not a gearhead. I've actually <laughs> been every time I get frustrated, I message him like, "Do you do you have any time? Because I might just send this thing over there. It's pissing me <laughs> off." Um, a friend of mine helped me, and my, my dad actually helped me. We went after it ourselves, getting 26 years of grime and rust and everything to separate was a little bit difficult. Um, got all the Old Man Ebu kit from Cruiser Outfitters out of Utah. Those guys were super awesome, super helpful. And it was just a matter of, it took longer than it should have, but it was really getting the, the other parts off. you know. And once we got that stuff off, everything got right in. But um, yeah, and I actually went with the Mission XCLs. So, Interesting little thing about these tires. These are actually military tires. Okay. Um, you won't find these on the market. Well, you can find them like on eBay. Sure. But they come from military use primarily in Europe, actually. Okay. And um, I went with this just to go with the theme of like troop carrier. You know. Sure. So why not go with the military tire? Um, it's actually I think it's called the R8, which is the size of it. So it's like a 33. Okay. Um, but it's super skinny. You know. Yeah. Again, the truck skinny. This is skinny. If I need to go over like any kind of batch or animal, we'll air down and trying to crawl over it yeah but i might go with a wider tire later on but i kind of like the, the whole concept of just running skitties and yeah no it looks good it looks good so. yeah they're gonna last forever though yeah yeah man uh i mean they're eight plies but they're heavy as, they're heavy as hell man they're super heavy i mean they they are exactly that military tire yeah, so. so how does how does the how does it perform is it you think it's underpowered or a little slow or how does it feel it's great I mean, it's great. not gonna go. It's not a rocket ship. Yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere <laughs> fast. You know? Yeah. Um, it, it runs great in the highway. I mean, got it in line. So I was, I was just telling Jake that it had a little bit of a wobble to it. Okay. Uh, kind of wanders a little bit. So we gotta find what that issue is. Sure. But outside of that, I mean, it runs great. I mean, like I said, I'm, I can go 70 on the expressway. I'm not gonna break any land records. But yeah. It does the job. But it, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So Do you know the gearing on the. No, I couldn't tell you. Like on the differences? Yeah, no, I couldn't tell you. Man. I mean, the cool thing is that it's manual, so that yeah. also, like, yeah. that helps it a lot. That I helps do it. know that Nitro Gear, they make like a 75 series setup. Like you can buy the kit like your front or your rear. They have one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah they have. Just buy it all. Yeah. So with this manual really transmission, both up to yours? The, I don't I don't know. So, you got that ask Jake. I, I'm not years. sure. Right? So, so, yeah. Like a manual. I mean, obviously they didn't never they never made a manual for the yeah. US market, but they did make manuals in other places, Would but you switch to the manual you're eating? I don't know. I, I like my auto yeah. to be honest with you. I like manual, man. It kind of just, I, yeah. I like the fuel driving like a car. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, that's what like my pickup is manual, and I love that. But when it comes to like when we go to Hidden Falls, yeah. I'd rather have auto. Like when we're doing like some rocks yeah. and stuff, I, I, man, personally, I just like auto. But uh, I, I will say this: the really cool thing about this one is I have already dropped it in four low and put it in first, and it doesn't show. Yeah. You put it, put it in gear, and it's just like chuck, 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 chuck. It's like a you tractor. Know, most, you know, you like clutch out first gear, you don't push the gas. Yeah. And that RPM one well, usually stall it out. It doesn't stall out. I mean, I know that's a common thing for most things, but it's designed that way. It's sure. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like all other trucks do do that. I don't know, but I know for this one it doesn't. It yeah. So I could put it on a trail, and not be worried about it. It's stalling out in the middle of. It. Fine. Yeah. yeah. What about the Steelys? Steelys, dude, those are actually off of Tacoma. Oh, really? Yeah, they're off of Tacoma. Where'd you get them? Um, online. Oh, Just really? Found them super cheap. Um, talked to the guy at Fit Garage again. They gave me the right size. These exact tires. There's a company, Stockton Wheel. Okay. Actually makes these out of alloy or okay. aluminum. I think, I think aluminum alloy, whatever it is. Yeah. They actually cut them out. I wanted to get a set of those, but. You know, got a wife and kids you know how that goes it's a bit yeah. lighter right if you go with that yeah it's yeah. a little bit a little lighter it's but steel. these you know they're steel so you can actually uh treat, you, know, bend, you can bend them back yeah. yeah um i shared on my personal instagram i think you saw the expedition sevens truck i've seen that's it that's kind of like my inspiration okay yeah so that's Kind of what I'm so when I was studying on on the on the 70 series and all those, I was watching a, a video where they go to the Land Cruiser Museum. Yeah. And they have that one. The, yeah, the Seven. Yeah, they have it there in the museum. That's Cruiser Kurt, actually. That's the guy from. Yeah. The Cruiser outfit. Yeah. Tell me, did it did it already come with the roof rack? It came with a roof rack. Okay. Um, I actually don't like it because it's bolted in and that. So oh. That's a little frustrating. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm gonna. If y'all know a good body shop, I want to pull that off and actually fill those in correctly. Yeah. Weld the holes in, not just. Bondo. Bondo. Um, so that'll be that's that's a later project. I, I'm I'm not 100 percent sure if I'm gonna remove it yet because I have looked at doing the alu cab pop top. Oh eventually. yeah. Um, I'm there's two there's a part of me that's like the purist says leave it alone don't touch it it looks great. Yeah. And then you have to cut the roof off for the alu cab. There's a part of me that says you know man it looks great the way it is so put the put a, a new roof rack and put a rooftop tent. So. Sure. But I've had guys tell me that these get real tippy but you need to top. Okay. That's, uh, I don't know. We'll see where we go. That's, yeah. It's a later project. So. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll go over the interior in a little bit at the end. Yeah. Let's let's go to here to the back. So it's got even a ladder. Yeah. That's the. That's Is that? Do, do they all come with this? No, they don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Well. Put that in. That's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> so that's stained. The end that comes with that because there's a guy in Utah that has a '70 series and he had the exact same rack I had. Yeah. Um. And it had the same little ladder, so I think like whoever, wherever they got his from, it's yeah, some company does it all together. Okay, well let's look here in the back. We'll do this. These are interesting doors. So, uh, guys, in I don't know for some odd reason in pictures it looks smaller, but in person it's it's actually pretty big. It's really it's really narrow vehicle. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna get in there too. Yeah. We're like six what six two, David. So we gotta see how it. Good? Yeah, that'll, that'll. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm uh, I'm six feet. John, how tall are you? Six two. Yeah. Let's see everybody. This is really roomy, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can like knock power you, dude. Just... Actually, like for man, like for camping, right here. Awesome. Oh, these seats flop up too, dude. Oh really? Yeah, they flop up and sleep on the floor. I'm putting air mattress oh, this, in here. This is comfortable right here. This, this one, dude. You had saw the whole thing about the honey leaves I got. You said you want to go camping. That's I'm gonna camp in this thing. Yeah. So. That's perfect. It'd be so cool. These windows were like. Open up. They have them, dude. They do have, they do them. have them. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna source one. The slide, they have the sliding windows, and then obviously there's a guy who makes um, the gold wings. Yeah, like the but they take like six months from Australia for those. So I might just go with the original sliding window. No, this is cool. Very cool. So from what I know on the 70 series, or the whole line, is that this is basically, you know, the most famous Land Cruiser is the 40 series, right? This is supposed to be kind of like the next updated version of the 40 series. Because if you look at the 60 series and 80 series, it's supposed to be more of a, more of a, uh, not luxury, but you know, it's a comf comfort yeah, vehicle. Yeah, These yeah. are supposed to be the working truck. Yeah, you legitimate know? all-terrain vehicle. Yeah. yeah. So the 40 happened, and then the 70 happened, and it's supposed to be the newer version of it. And they're still making them today. Yeah. The 79 series. They make the 79 series, yeah. but it's like a, and I, don't quote me on this, I want to say it's something like they're only making them for a short period of time. So, yeah. so what I, what I was, uh, 
what I watched on YouTube is that for the 30th anniversary yeah, in Japan, they remade them. They yeah. brought them back after what 15 years, I think, of not making He's them. Not making them. Yeah. Them back, so. Uh, which is super cool. But I mean, well, obviously, we're not lucky to have them here in the U.S. Well, you can get like. If you have the money, Maltec trucks. Have you seen Maltec? Yeah. They make the new 79 series and they put like a camper in the back. And you can get a, they, they do whatever they need to do to the engine to make it for the one you So, they, 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 what they do is they, they get an, I think what they do is they get an 80 chassis. They, they get a, get an 80 series. And they flop it on the Yeah, they put, and it's labeled as a FZJ80. So, it's technically you can import it from okay. what I've, from what I've seen. Because I follow a Live, uh, what is it, Live Work Wonder? On Instagram, and they they're have doing, one. They're doing that. They yeah. did the multi. The Sackware one. Mm -hmm. That guy looks like a straight up seventy nine series. Yeah, exactly. Like, His is beautiful. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's like a beast. Man. Yeah, Sack yeah. Sackware on on Instagram. Yeah. Now this is this is really nice. I really really like this. If I could get one, I'd get get this in. I might put it for sale soon. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I, if I can find a diesel one, I might. Uh, really? All the Toyotas are are starting to go up in value. Yeah. And even the three point which. Yeah. At one point, I feel like, especially the four hundred second gens. Yeah. Those were like one of like the eight hundred thousand, twelve hundred dollar rides, but now they're like at the three, four thousand. <laughs> yeah. It's all beautiful four hundred. Um, and I was telling my wife, she was just like, "What are you talking about?" At HEB in the parking lot, we were doing the curbside pickup or whatever. Oh. And it was parked right in front of me. And it was red. I don't know if y'all know the guy, but it was like stock and mint. Like the guy obviously took care of the truck. A pickup? Uh, oh, no, no, it was a four hundred. Watch it be Jake's for yeah, right. Imagine. The red one? No, 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 it wasn't Pretty that gen? one. No, it was a, it was a Gearage black one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it was just a, but it was red and it was a completely stock, but the thing yeah. looked mint. Like, hmm. like it was kept in a garage its whole life. Yeah, it's just ridiculous how, how much like the prices are, like the first chance, especially right yeah. now too, they're just like... Yeah. Wait, Kerry, you said it's... We forgot to mention that. Yeah. Front and rear lockers. Yeah, front and rear lockers, man. And it's it's in the dash, like Team Original. I've, original. Yeah, most... like. All the Land Cruiser Troopers I've seen like online, yeah. guys always have a manual. Yeah. And this is electronic, so that's pretty cool. And they wow. Is John the Cruiser driving manual? Dude, this thing is so smooth. <laughs> Set a okay, date. I already told you. Set a date. What do you mean? Up, and I'll take the fifteen hundred likes, and we'll go to Hidden Falls in October. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright Gary, well really appreciate you coming by and letting us see this video. That was that was a lot of fun. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, that was a good experience. Where can we find you on uh, on the internet? Um the build page is Merrill's Marauder. And for guys who know anything about that name, they'll know why I named it that. And then um, my personal is Carrie underscore Della Um I don't have any YouTube stuff or any of that stuff. I'm pretty low-key when it comes to that. Okay. I want to see only gonna go public with you guys. <laughs> I even thought about wearing my mask the whole time. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can Follow the build there. Like I said, we're trying to do it right. That's the goal. 
but you know, on a budget. So sure. Well, thank you, Kerry. Really appreciate it, man. I appreciate really. you guys and finding the shop. It's really awesome. Yeah. Also, awesome channel. Thank you. Uh, enjoy it. So, if you don't follow these guys, follow them. Subscribe. <laughs> hit the like button. So, so you have Patreon Thanks, too, right? Yeah, follow Patreon. On Patreon. Yeah, actually, we're supposed to do a live video right now. <laughs> I so, forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Keep doing your thing, man. It's awesome. Like I said, I had coronavirus and I watched the whole series on Fortnite. Or I'd say the video. Videos improved over time. Yeah, they have. <laughs> they still are improving. <laughs> well, things. Real, real camera shy and quiet. Now we can put. Um, <laughs> What's up, guys? Like, want some this? Welcome to another episode. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll see you on the next one. Uh, follow Carrie on Instagram. I'll put the little uh, handle right there. We'll see you on the next one.